up in county traffic. Zulu 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 is now asleep. Snooze and snort. Good night. <laughs> Hot in county. <laughs> Hey people, this day sucks but I take my drug face from cheap to get out of this stuff! <laughs> Hawking Field, November 1-1 Delta has cleared the runway. Blame Canada. They aren't a real country anyway. Hawking Field. <laughs> yeah, I just went all out on this airport. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And today we're going to ramble about Flight Simulator, which is not this, but, well, Tower is sort of Flight Simulator related, but uh, stuff that you see over here to the side of me, these are actually maps uh, from various locations around the world uh, that I inherit it for a price uh, from uh, a lady whose father was a pilot. Um, he was a pilot in real life and then uh, wasn't able to physically fly anymore, but he was doing it virtually. And he, dude, man, he had, I don't even have all the binders up here yet. I still got them sitting over there. But yeah, he's got maps and everything uh, broken up in the categories all around the world, uh, which is great uh, for the series that I've been working on, the World Tour series for Flight Simulator. And which Flight Simulator? Almost all of them. Uh, not all of them I can do a World Tour with, like Flight Simulator 1 and Flight Simulator 2 and 3, for that matter. Um, those are limited um, by whatever scenery discs were made, except for one that didn't have scenery discs. Uh, but as far as um, four and onwards uh, for Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, I'm doing you know a world tour with that. I, I don't yet have Lockheed Martin prepared. It is on my list. Um, I not really planning on getting it until. I get my i7 computer uh, working with that. Because with those videos, I want, I'm doing something special with those. And I want it to be a pleasing experience audio wise and visually. I want it, I want the, the frames per second to be nice, silky smooth for what I'm planning to do with that. So for the moment, we're just, I'm just going to hold off on that until I can get, get that going. I, you know, I, I want to do prepared right. I want to be prepared for prepared. <laughs> but as far as all the other ones, um, there's the X-Plane, which would be nice if I had my i7 computer working with that. Uh, it would definitely look really nice, but... Um, yeah, for the other ones, they all have a unique uh, take. They're not, I mean, they all follow the same flight plan, but they don't always go about it in the same way. They all have a different type of, of, of appeal to them. So the Flight Simulator 4 series, uh, some of that uh, has scenery from Sublogic, which, which I don't... Yeah, I think I've got it right here. So, you've got the USA West and USA East. So, I've got USA East. I don't have the box. i got the maps. Um, and then, for the areas that aren't covered uh, around the world, I'm having to rely on custom content that uh, users have created as well as making my own content. So that's the appeal of Flight Simulator 4. It's that little engine that could. 
trying to push that and do things with it that is not exactly easy to do like on the other simulators. Um, with Flight Simulator 98, I've got uh, Pro Flight 98, which is uh, gives the ability of ATC, so air traffic control. It's in the form of, a, of an adventure, but it works pretty decently. Uh, but in, in addition to that, there's another program called Real ATC, which can work in conjunction with it, which uh, utilizes actual ATC recorded messages to give it that live uh, chatter type of feel to it. And although it comes with generic ones, I've been downloading uh, stuff from liveatc.net, breaking it apart into separate wave uh, files uh, specific to whatever airports that I'm flying to. And although Flight Simulator 98 is very, very dated in terms of graphics, just the idea of the air traffic control and these la live chatter files really adds this nice dimension to it. Um, and not only that, uh, it doesn't have um, AI traffic. That didn't come into play until Flight Simulator 2002. So I have another program that allows me to create air traffic. And with the air traffic, you can also put in wave files that are timed at certain areas to give the illusion that whoever's flying that plane is talking with air traffic control. So I have a little bit of fun with that as well. So that's, that's the Flight Simulator 98 series. And Flight Simulator 2000, uh, is pretty much along the lines of Flight Simulator 98, but Flight Simulator 2000 has become my comedy series. That one I just I just have fun with, and with all the air traffic, uh, the customized air traffic that I that I throw in there that I record with text to speech, um, <laughs> I have fun with it. So, uh, and then. You know, then there's the other flight simulators. They all have something different and unique that I'm doing with them. The X-Plane series has uh, a documentary at the end of it of where it is that we're flying to. And that is just, that's something that I've wanted to do because uh, I thought a, a travel documentary series would just be kind of neat to do. And so I'm doing that at the end of each of the X-Plane videos. Uh, and then there's FSX, which I pretty much, you know, as you would expect, I would play it um, with, you know, whatever good add-ons I can do with it. That's the Steam edition. But with the FSX boxed edition, that one I'm taking a whole different approach with that World Tour series and making it cinematic, making a cinematic uh, take on it. Same exact flight plan. But on that one, there's no face cam. Uh, there's going to be customized music that I've been uh, working on with uh, Magic's Music Maker. I have another video about that, uh, which I'll link to at the um, end of this video. And yeah, just spending some time and just making that an, an interesting series just where you can just sit back and just, you know, enjoy it. Uh, but when it comes to that World Tour series, I've needed to take a little bit of, of a break. Because as you can imagine, there's 32 legs of that journey that are up on this channel. And they're all in their own individual playlist, in case you're wondering. So just go to the playlist of my channel and you will see uh, one for Flight Simulator 98 and 2000 and... FSX, X-Plane, and most of them are all caught up with each other. Uh, some of the exceptions are X-Plane. Uh, that one actually takes time to do because of the documentary, because I'm doing research on the location that we're going to, uh, plus editing it together. It just takes time. And I've fallen behind on that because I've been working on all the other ones. 
Windows 95, although I have, not Windows 95, <laughs> Flight Simulator for Windows 95. Uh, that one I have a lot of work I need to do with. It's essentially about the same as Flight Simulator 5.0, 5.1, which I do have a series on. Uh, but I want to do Flight Simulator 95 for those of you out there that have got fond memories of 95, which is, I like to think of it as a cross between 5.1 and Flight Simulator 98. Uh, but yeah, I, I've needed to put that series on hold. One, because I want to get everything caught up with it as far as I possibly can. But two, um, I want to take some time working on the next uh, block of flights uh, for that world tour. And I don't want to just rush them out the door. There are some things that I want to do with Flight Simulator 4 because uh, you can record air traffic on there. So I want to take a little bit of time to, to just kind of push it up a little bit more. And plus, it's going to be going into an area that is really lacking in coverage. So it's, it's going to take me a little bit of, of time to create the airports and the locations that I've got planned out. And with the Flight Simulator 98 and 2000 series and uh, Flight Simulator 5.1 um, for that matter, there is local ATC chatter for those airports that I'm flying to that I want to be able to, to get and separate and put it into that um, real ATC program so that way when flying to the areas it's uh, gives a little bit of, of realism so just want to let y'all know if you're wondering why there haven't been any new episodes uh, legs to that world tour series this is why but in lieu of that um, I'm working on uh, a cinematic series for flying from North America to South America. And I've got some other plans of doing other areas of the world, which is an alternative to the world tour. Because I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to Africa or how long it's going to take me to start, you know, flying through Europe or... Norway or, or Russia, because the World Tour Series is not, it's not rushing to get anywhere uh, at, at any specific time. It's just, we're kind of taking our time. We're just kind of traveling all, all around. But I don't want to wait three, four years to fly in certain areas. So I'm making separate video, a separate video series of that. And it's just pretty much if, if I was just playing flight simulator and doing a nice enjoyable flight that takes a few hours uh that's pretty much it and and i just take it and just try to do a, a you know a fun little cinematic thing with it and then share it here on, on the channel and for those of you who are just looking for a nice you know relaxing flight for uh a few hours several hours <laughs> Some of the videos go anywhere from four, five, six hours in length, uh, but it's the whole flight. It's it's the whole flight. So I'm not doing just the the takeoff and the landing and a little bit in the middle. Got the whole flight. Um, do I expect that people are going to sit there watching their you know their phone or their computer monitor the whole time? No, but you know if you wanted to fly from one location to another. And just kind of wanted to, you know, have it, you know, as, as if you're in the plane. I'm sure if you're in the plane, you're not going to be staring out the window the whole time. Uh, <laughs> you know, you, you'll kind of look out and see what's kind of going on. And, you know, you'll read a book or maybe watch some videos on your phone or play some games. And that's kind of the idea. 
that's the idea behind the uh, cinematic uh, series is to just have it in there like like you're flying and you can kind of do something and maybe look out the window once in a while and see what's going on um, but it's a little bit more than that uh, I try to do things like a little bit of sightseeing while while flying like oh look what's over here look what's over here we're flying over this and then doing a little bit more with um, these music segments in there where you're seeing exterior shots of the of the plane um, along with some music so it's a cross between the videos where you hear just music and you're seeing um, the flight simulation uh, and stuff where it's just the flights you know the flight simulator with no music so it's just a cross between the two just but no face cam so I've got that going on so there will still be flights and videos while I'm working on the next batch of um, videos for the world tour but I'm also wanting to take a little bit of break to try to work on some other stuff for this channel as well. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to give you an update in regards to the world tour and what I'm working on. Uh, as far as the, I know some of you out there are probably wondering, hey, what's going on with the X-Plane series? You're kind of behind on that. Yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> got a lot of work to do on, on it. And my time is limited. I have a family, I have work, uh, in some cases I have uh, two jobs because I do uh, delivery stuff on the side, uh, like the delivery gigs like Amazon Flex and Postmates and DoorDash. Uh, I work those on the side to help bring in some extra money. Not all the time, but as you can imagine, there's only 24 hours in a day. Um, I have to sleep for part of that, which uh, I hate. <laughs> I just, I wish it wasn't necessary. That way I'd have more time to do things. But yeah, you know, it, it is what it is. But anyhow, um, that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And um, hope you'll stick with me uh, through the flight sim videos. And for those of you who are Minecrafters and are wondering where the heck are those videos? How come I haven't done any new ones? They're coming. They're coming. That's the reason why, it's another reason why I'm taking a break for from that World Series is to put up some more Minecraft videos. So, but that's it. Thanks. And I'll see you in another rambling video.